Hi, Jeff Wild of Web Video Professional and webvideography.com. First uh, camera that I'm going to review is the Canon Vixia HV30. Now it's high def, of course. As I said, I'm only reviewing high def camcorders at this point. It has been the camcorder of choice for web videographers for the last year or so. Uh, actually, it now has an older uh, sister, a newer sister, uh, the HV40, uh, uh, the Vixie HV40. But in, as far as I can tell, the, uh, there's not that much difference in terms of features. And um, If I encounter any, I'll let you know. But meanwhile, I'm going to review both the 30 and the 40 in this brief video. A uh, lot of it I'm going to read to you. Uh, and there's all, other information I'll put up. You'll see. Whatever. We'll work it out. Anyway, the Vixia H30... Uh, well, it's the uh, 2.96, one half point seven inch CMOS sensor. That's pretty big. That's pretty good. Um, it's only got a ten times zoom. I would like a larger zoom, but that's pretty hard to come by and very expensive. It's got a, a widescreen 2.7 inch LCD, which is pretty good. It's, I think it's kind of important that you see what you're shooting. Um, and one of the nice things about it is it will record to mini DV tapes and mini high-def uh, DV tapes. Most, most HD camcorders record to hard drive or to uh, the little flash uh, cards, um, the SD cards. This one records to tape. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages. When you record to a hard drive or to an SD card, often the camcorder itself compresses the video. A lot of pros don't like that because it loses some of its quality. What's the point of investing in an HD camcorder if it's going to be compressed right out of the box without any control? Now, on the other hand, a major disadvantage of tape is that there's often sound uh, from the motor turning the tape. I'm not familiar with this camcorder uh, enough to say that's a problem. I've read some of the reviews, very little mention of that. It's actually reviewed quite highly, the uh, between four and four and a half stars out of five. So that is good to know. Uh, let's see what else. Um, it records in true 1920 by 1080 um, resolution. Uh, I'm really kind of happy about the tape. If the motor sound isn't bad, that's really nice. Oh, it also has something that I have on my Panasonic Pro unit. It has the ability to record to 24 frames a second, 24p progressive, which is film-like, so that you can actually shoot movies, and they look like that soft, you know, quality that films have. It's a good feature. I've enjoyed it in my uh, Panasonic uh, AG uh, DVX100 for quite some time. Anyway. As I said, the uh, 24 frame a second mode is pretty interesting in that it emulates film fairly well and uh, gives you that kind of soft tone that uh, people like when they're watching movies. So if you want to do some independent filmmaking, that's a nice feature. Uses Canon lenses which are notoriously good, of course. Um, image stabilization. Even at long distances, this is essential. Um, your hand shakes when, if you're holding a small camcorder, and, and it shakes pretty badly. And when you zoom in, I mean, the shake is totally amplified. 
supposedly, according to what I'm reading here, <clears throat> both um, from the company propaganda and reviewers, the image civilization works pretty well, even at long distances. So that's a definite plus. It's got autofocus. The, it also comes with manual focus, but I've read some negative reviews about that um, in the 40. I didn't encounter anything in the older model, the 30, but that doesn't mean it isn't there. Low light is okay, it's passable. Um, comes with all the usual crap. I'm not going to go into that. Um, this, as I said, has been the camcorder of choice, the HD camcorder of choice for uh, web video professionals for about a year. And the new model, the 40, seems to be taking over for that. It's relatively inexpensive. It's kind of the low end of the HD scale. I don't know what it's going for everywhere, but uh, I think you can get it at B&H for like $700 or thereabouts. Um, fairly good price. So check into that. Make sure you read the reviews and make sure it's to your liking. Oh, for more information about this camcorder and others, and... Uh, what's going on in the web video, web videography world, visit webvideography.com. Thanks.